third call to Breakfast America, so out with your marching shoes. Let's join Don McNeil for March time around the breakfast table. <laughs> by brownies <laughs> and it's fun too yeah careful careful now no accidents let's not get too excited about this march after all uh, we got some solid folks here we have the ready mix concrete group here today who sat out this march very nicely well now friends I think you're gonna get a big kick out of this to introduce the next person I'd like to read you a little letter got the other day that I got a big kick out of this is from uh, Glenn Sedinger of Alameda, California. Alameda, California. As you know, Aunt Fanny's been missing for several days uh, on the sick list. I'll tell you, I'm going to introduce uh, this to you in, in just a second. But uh, right now, before I do, I'd just I'd like to remind you what you're listening to. Uh, as you know, I guess you do know what you're listening to. Now let's see what comes next. Oh, yeah, I know. The reason I did that fooling around there is because I wanted to get into the commercial thing. I was thinking, oh, yeah, I'm do the commercial. And that's what they're doing now. And as soon as the commercial is over, then I will introduce Ann Fanning. But I uh, didn't want to do it until we get the commercial is over because in spite of the fact, lady, that you work for another packing plant, Swift & Company sponsors this program on the radio, and they want us to say something about it. And don't you and forget don't it. Don't you forget it. <laughs> and we are saying something about it on the radio right now. We're saying something real pretty about it. We're telling all about those fine products and all that stuff like that there. And uh, we will be for another uh, minute or, or so. I haven't put it up there yet, but it's about a minute and 43 seconds that we talk about that. Some of those commercials seem longer on the air, but actually they're not so long. A minute and 43 seconds, that isn't long. Out of half an hour to talk about Swiss products. Of course, we do it three more times beside that. So. <laughs> all right. Uh, in, uh, I tell you, I want a couple of you Girl Scouts to get ready. Uh, a couple of Girl Scouts, brownies. Tell you what, after a while, I'm going to have a little contest here among the three of you to see who can tell about herself the best in 30 seconds. And I'll have a nice prize for the one that can, so all get ready to think all you can about yourself, and then we'll have a little contest. No, son, you can't get in this. I can look at you and tell all about you. Look at this guy. Everything I say, he goes through the action. He goes... Dun, 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 dun. I gotta Everything I say, he holds his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Another kid is smarter than I thought he was. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't forget, just a few minutes of that little contest, Brownie. Well, I started to say uh, a minute or two ago about that letter from Glenn Sedinger of Alameda, California. He wrote and asked me uh, to tell, wait a minute, tell, uh, oh yeah, that's a man, Glenn, it has to be, doesn't it? He wanted me to tell Aunt Fanny that she should come out to Alameda to live. That's right there on San Francisco Bay. And here's the reason, this is cute. He said, this is a city of 65,000 population and no cemetery. He said, some of the old timers stick around here till they get to be 100 or so, and they get so disgusted they go somewhere else so they can call it quits. 
that, Ann Fanny will get a kick out of it. Because she's back this morning, our old friend Ann Fanny. <laughs> Fanny? Better, better, and you? Fine, thank you. Everything going, say, where was that, uh, I heard you talking about what town was that? Alameda, California. Well, now, ain't that a peculiar thing? I believe we had somebody from home there years ago that went to Alameda. You don't mean I think so. I think it was Finchford Faulkner, and him and his family uh, moved out there. Uh, oh, he had just a horrible bad health. He had just took about everything there was to take, and uh, finally uh, the whole Telephone family uh, picked up and uh, Hello? went out. Yeah, she is. This uh, is for you. This may be. Help hello? Hello, Nettie. Oh, Nettie. Well, uh, I was just uh, saying about the... Well, what was her name? Cleveland Clink. <laughs> oh. Well, where was it they went? Altadena. Oh, well, I knew it was something like that. Both yes. <laughs> well, don't make a difference. No. Uh, yeah. All right. You bet. They're both in California. me to get it right. Yes. Yeah. Well, so as I say, uh, he had just had this uh, horrible bad health. So bad, and uh, he had... Pardon. Yes? Went to work and took one. Yeah. Took everything. Sure she is. Just a minute, oh. uh, for you. Hello? Hello, boys. Oh, Why, yes, we was just, um... What? Well, who was it? Garfield Croc. Oh, uh-huh. Well, where was it they went? Oh, Anaheim. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, I knew it was around there. <laughs> sure. Well, I like to get things straight, too. <laughs> you bet. Goodbye. You didn't know anybody, uh, really? Well, no, I guess I had the name wrong. Oh. Well, anyway, what I was going to tell you was that he had had just this uh, miserable bad health for so horrible long. Mm -hmm. And well, he well, had uh, took uh, Hello, about open. every... Uh, yeah. You bet she is. For you, Aunt For me? Yeah, again. Hello? Oh, hello! <laughs> How are you? By well, 80, I, uh, I... I was just... Uh, well, what was their name? Kirschfield Kennicott. Uh-huh. Well, where was it they went? Azusa. Oh, uh-huh. Well, I knew it was around there. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right, well, I'm glad I want to get well, the story right. Uh, yes, well, like I said, uh, he, well, he was horrible bad off, Hello. he was. Yes, he did. <laughs> For me. Yeah. Hello? Oh, hello there. How are you, dear? Uh-huh. Well, what was their name? Crenshaw Courtney. Uh-huh. Well, where was it they went? Oh, he went, uh-huh. Well, uh, uh, island, you say? Uh-huh. A big place, oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, what was it he took? Oh, from the bank. Uh-huh. Well, what's the name of that place? You heard of a place called Alcatraz? Yeah. Is he still there? Well, I may just run by and see him someday. Good <laughs> 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 Yes, sir. It's sure good to have Aunt Fanny back again. Glad she's feeling more like herself again. Wonderful. We come to uh, Jean Desmoni, kissing cousin of Mrs. Uh, what's her name, who's here this morning. Say, hey, that's pretty close, you know that. Yeah, Desmoni, Desmoni, real close. Say, it's a good uh, name, know, no matter how you know. You can start. get you can get names wrong, uh, uh, Johnny. There's one one of those little brownies came in here this morning. And said, uh, yeah. "Which one of those guys?" You were looking up here at the at the group the on, the, on the stage. You said, "Which one of those guys is Terry?" You know, Terry who? Well, I, I, that's what I couldn't figure out. I went over and I said, "Terry who?" She said, "The guy that's own, that owns this place, Terry Casino." <laughs> <laughs> it's Terrace Casino of the Morris Motel, in case Mr. Rutten is watching. That's a very good one. Yeah. All right, now, what are you going to do? Well, I got a wonderful uh, old, old uh, standard uh, written by the great Stephen Foster. Ah, yeah. Uh, Genie with a light brown hair. Well, let's have that, John. <laughs> I 
Fred Hammond of Lawton, Oklahoma. How are you, Fred? Might as well have a geography lesson this morning, as long as we have so many brownies and quite a few other younger folks here this morning. In fact, I never saw so many old people look so young as some of these folks do today. Um, might as well have a geography lesson. Fred, you said you wanted to tell all about Oklahoma, didn't you? Well, you know, the man uh, told us to say something intelligent if we can up here. Yes. I don't know whether I can or not. Don't you? I'm scared. How are you scared? <laughs> what do you do, Fred? I'm in the ready mix concrete business. Ah, oh, you shouldn't be scared. You always have a good foundation under you. What the heck? <laughs> all right, I'm going to give you a minute now to tell all you know about Oklahoma, and maybe your teacher girls will give you this as a subject when you get back to school. Tell them all about Oklahoma. One minute. Well, you know, yesterday I called home, and we had uh, summer weather. Summer weather. I was sitting up there watching the snowfall. Mm-hmm. And I told them we had snow up here, and they couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful country down there. Yeah. And we'd like to take home some of that rain. Yeah. I don't know whether we'll get there or not, because you told me this morning it was nice out there. Mm-hmm. We got up pretty early. I see. By the way, my friend from Texas, he got up oily, too. Thank you. <laughs> That's the story of Oklahoma. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> the Breakfast Club coming to you from the Terrace Casino at the Morrison Hotel in Chicago. <laughs> that was very good, very good. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, the, the breakfast club is right, huh? Well, now we're uh, on the radio again, and not on, on uh, television. But uh, I got some people I still want to talk to you, and I haven't forgotten that uh, little contest we're going to have, too. I think we ought to have a prize for that. Let's see. What would be interesting to youngsters? Uh, that wouldn't be interesting to a youngster, would it? No. I'm a little older. It'd be interesting to me. <laughs> <laughs> See, this would be a little more interesting to a youngster. See, they're pretty small, though, aren't they? got a they? lot of interesting things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast Club will continue over the same ABC stations after a brief pause for station identification. This is ABC Television Network.